Hi everyone, this is Bill. I got my ewe sheared this week and I'm going to show them to you, but first I was going to show you that we're being attacked by fall army worms this year and this is what they look like and I was kind of amazed that they can move faster than I ever thought they would. They sure been eating my pastures. You can see here how brown it is. I've never seen this happen before. I got ewes out here trying to get them bred and these darn things keep eating the pasture. Now when I pan over here, you can see that there's more green. So they're working their way across. You can kind of see a front where it's brown turning to green. But over here, they haven't got to yet. So now it's going to be kind of a race against who's going to eat the pasture first. The ewes and rams or the dang fall army worms. I got them all into their eight breeding groups. And I've gotten... Some used bread already, so things are going pretty good. This big U here right in front of the Ram 93J, that's one of my favorite U's. She's really thick. And then the 2348 white, she's actually uh, just two years old. And then the rest of these in here are yearlings. But the ram for this group, he's got the white ones, and then he'll have the daughters from the green group. So he's the white line sire, and then uh, as I keep all these ewe lambs back, which these are obviously last year, so the yearlings now, they're just going to end up uh, sliding to a different group until I swap out rams for the whole group. So that's why he's getting the white and... The daughters from the green, which that was the 50H Ram. Had the weirdest thing happen in all these years. I hadn't had this happen. I was using the NetX crayons. And yesterday he had red on him. I found the whole crayon out here after just two days of having him out here. So it was completely ripped off the plastic holder. And that brand, I've never had that happen. So then I had to put a green one on. So that's why... You can see one has more green on her. We'll walk over here and I can show you the next group. And I got a really nice young ram over here. One of my ram lambs I kept back. And so this next group I'm going to take you to here is the pink group. And then in my scheme, the ram, he came from yellow. So now he'll be my new pink ram and he'll have... 11 ewes, counting the ewe lambs, that he'll be able to breed. Otherwise, the original ram that was siring the three pink ewes would only have them three. So, I'm keeping sons back that are better than the dads and moving them to new groups with larger amounts I can breed them to. My shearer said that out of the five rams that I'm using now, uh, two that I kept two years ago and then three this year that he thinks all five are better than their dad, so I'm going in the right direction. But yeah, these are all the pink ewes. The three bigger ones then would be the mothers of the three yearlings. And then I have three more ewe lambs to keep out of them. And then I have two ewe lambs to keep out of their three daughters that are here, so. They've been really productive, that pink line. And there's that ram lamb I kept. He's named Cyclone. He's my second favorite ram that I kept back from this year's lamb crop. If he'd turn and show us his head, he's got the nice nose wrinkles and good bull calf like the Ile de France are supposed to have. But I really like him, but not as good as Bulldog, which I'll show you him another day. But he's nice, nice thick rumped and he's better than his dad, I think, because his dad's a little bit light in his rear end and this guy's not. Haven't been on here for a while. There hasn't been too much going on, but now there's going to be a few more videos if anyone wants to see what they're looking like. Thanks for watching. Bye.